it's great to be selected to be um, part of this presentation. Um, and I guess this is not a, a slide of Mokata. Um, we're showing um, a, a project that was coincident with Mokata. This is Josai University. It's the um, School of Management, which in 2003 we were um, hired to do both this project, which is 75,000 square feet, and Mokata, which is 1,600 square feet. Um, also at that time, um, my partner, Sunil Bald, was traveling to Japan to work on Josai, and I happened to be in Rome um, because I won the Rome Prize. So we were kind of commuting a lot and working by email. And, um, and um, so these two projects kind of landed on our desktop. So this is Mokata. The main narrative is the narrative of the African diaspora, which is Mokada's narrative, the Museum of Contemporary African Diasporan Art, Mokada. And the, the kind of imperative of the client was to showcase a map of Africa. And my partner and I kind of struggled with that, the idea of, of the map as an icon, and we wanted to spatial, spatialize it. Okay, so this is the building where Mokada rests. It's in Fort Greene, which is part of the redevelopment that's happening in Fort Greene. It's at Hanson Place in Ashland. It's in a building called 80 Arts, the James E. Davis Arts Building. And it was actually the first project that was done in the BAM Arts Cultural District and um, BAM LDC was located in this building. The building itself was renovated by open office. So Mokado is just on the um, first floor, and it's all the boarded up windows on the ground level. Um, this is a space. It consists of a, it's basically a gallery with aspirations to be a major museum. And Lori Cumbo, who is the founder of the museum, <laughs> Um, you know, she's like a young woman who had this vision about a museum. It started in Bushwick in Brooklyn, and then, you know, this is, was kind of a major move for the museum. But essentially, the space was like a gallery space. So what we wanted to do, what we worked out with Lori, was a space that could be flexible. She was used to small rooms, and she wanted to be able to have smaller spaces, but then also have a larger um, more open gallery space, um, also a larger assembly space. So at the front, when you enter, there's a reception store, a kind of small gallerist office. Then you enter into the galleries, and then there's a, a slightly bigger office in the back. But everything is on a kind of miniature scale. Then the main ideas of the project were the kind of reception area which would hold the map. And we, we basically, as I said, tried to spatialize the map and incorporate um, the functional elements of reception, store, office into it. And then the gallery, which was organized with a, a light strip, which was actually hiding the duct space. And then the gallery windows, there were five windows which all had to be covered, so we converted those into light boxes that then were um, showcases for Mokada's identity. We worked with the graphic designer, designer <laughs> Nadia Cohen, and she kind of um, developed Mokada's logo, which was these uh, shifting color bars, and um, worked that into our idea of LED color display that would shift through the windows. This is a view of the finished uh, Mokada space from outside. You can see the, the light box windows with the um, museum logo. Then also the kind of, it's, it's an open corner. It's actually a bit of a fishbowl. And when we were doing construction, people would just come in all the time and you know ask like, what is the space? When can we come in? Um, you know, is this space for me kind of things. And so, you know, if the door isn't locked, they just walk in. But it, it's a great little corner. This was an initial view of the interior of the space showing the movable walls, which we worked with a metal fabricator that we had worked on uh, 
former project with to make these kind of pivoting hinges that were embedded in the walls and then just use industrial casters and then like the lighting was both within the light strip but then also within the space. This is a, a view of the finished space without art in it and the walls shifting. Then this is an installation. This was a Black Madonna show, which was um, a month ago that it ended. There's a great show there now, which is on um, the riots in France. And it's a real pop show, so it, it looks really great in the space. OK, so the map. What we, what we did was we took the map of the world and basically decided to work with the time zones and to locate Africa and the African diaspora within the time zones and not use the actual geography of the map or the world. And so we extracted the time zones, and that's the 2D version. Then we kind of worked with solids and voids that we would generate from the time zones, a kind of grid. Actually, it's a bit like stacking um, ice cream sticks, like when I was a kid anyway. Um, in camp, we made these light sculpture things that you just glue ice cream sticks on top of each other and sometimes use marbles. And So anyway, we took that idea and we, we worked it with flat pieces and then kind of projecting um, forward or backward to make display space or store uh, merchandise space. We worked with a fabricator, a woodworker from Ithaca, Tobias Dean, who basically built all the, the wood parts that would go in the reception area by hand by himself. They were all hand doweled and there were no screws, no glue. So he kind of did it old school and there were 2,400 pieces. So this is the map applied to the space. Then this is a view of a kind of 2D mapping, which is lines that would be painted on the wall, and a 3D mapping, which would house pockets for display and reception, and also kind of screen the front office. Then this is the, um, the the map applied to the space before the furniture went in. This is actually a view in the office where if you're inside the front office, you're just in the space of the map, so you can see it. So the map consists of uh, different routes. Some of them are, are slave routes, like sub-Saharan um, slave route, Atlantic slave trade route. Also, we did the, the military as a kind of African diaspora map. Because one of the things that I found interesting when we've been traveling back and forth to Tokyo was, and to other places like in Rome, um, was to see African Americans and how a lot of them had actually like come to places through the military, places that you wouldn't expect. So this is a view of the reception space with the 2D and 3D map. And it's all so very compressed. It has a view into the gallery space. And outside, there's you know a 42-inch video screen it's above the reception desk. This is a view of reception looking out into the lobby of the AD Arts building itself. Then this is a view beyond the reception desk, just showing the kind of store structure. And well, Toby put it together, put the wood together in the space. After he put all the blocks together in his studio, he kind of put it together in parts and then came to the space. And it took him about a day and a half to put it together with the help of another person here. And we worked with another person who painted the, the map on the space. And then we kind of put press type on the space, the people in the studio and myself. And then um, also we put the plexi pieces together. So there was a lot of manual labor in the front part. 
but the gallery spaces space um, and the office were all done you know in a standard way these are just views showing the the, the cities and the structure then a view from outside this is slightly it's at night and then this I'll is I'll just show this it's a, a slide of the business school so so the first project the Mokado project is like a kind of small project what our office was generally has been used to and then we worked on this much larger project with Obayashi Corporation who has essentially a division of every architectural and engineering and component that you could think of and um, we worked with the team really intimately there simultaneous to the Mokata project to, to do this business school and there are some at least to us kind of textural similarities but the scale is just so much greater so I'm going to end with this slide of Mokata